What's transpired tonight is four crews um, getting together in a, in a mock structure fire, which has actually occurred here back in the 80s. And it's very rare that we get the opportunity to do that sort of exercise in a major asset which is so important to us in this district. So tonight's been a multiple purpose exercise, pre-season, pre-planning and camaraderie. Well, there's multiple reasons. One is interoperability with the other brigades. Uh, we do this reasonably frequently, just so we know each other's uh, equipment. And we also just recently updated the pre-plan for the structure. Basically, this is uh, like a live test of the pre-plan. We first sat down in April this year. We met with Andrew Judkin, the owner, in May. And from there on, we compiled a, an organising committee of nine people and all had uh, specific duties to do. And what, what we've seen tonight is the culmination of nine people's work. And, th and now then, in the Mill Pond effect, the brigades actually, you know, bringing it to fruition. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, the brigades are Callista the Patch, Sassafras, Mombolk and Bayswater BA. So it's sort of working with that and having multiple BA crews in the building and then changing over with, with other crews. And also Rangers FOV has also been running the two-sector radio con uh, command uh, channels. Yeah, communication went really well, um, especially now because we used uh, some of the digital channels. And basically we were sort of using the FOV more and more for these, even just for exercises. Approximately the last count, and I've seen some more faces than I was expecting, it's just on 60 volunteers have uh, given up their time tonight on this one exercise so it's just been brilliant look you'd only you would probably come near to probably two-thirds of this number in a summer season group training exercise but in winter or off season or outside the summer season this is the first this is the largest that even our older uh, veterans uh, can re ever recall that this has been done so this has been quite exciting from that perspective what we've had is four anonymous assessors uh, all with a clipboard and a series of questions and a scale rating. Um, what I've seen of that so far, it's been ranging between seven and eight and six, six, seven and eight, in terms of various skill levels, coordination, crew cohesiveness in terms of uh, radio use, um, commands and so forth. But right now, to what we first started as, a, as our timing, uh, we're, we're five minutes ahead. So we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty spot on. <laughs> well, one of the other focuses tonight was to capture as many pre-season minimum skills uh, to be signed off um, by all brigade members. Uh, there are 12, 12 disciplines. Um, the only one we didn't do tonight were burnovers, but we've usually done that back at our brigades. But tonight we've done two dual sectors, a, a sector command on pumping um, and a sector command on, on um, BA and search and rescue. Running that parallel with this number of people uh, was a, an enormous task. And then also basically pump operations with various different appliances, different pumps, uh, different hoses, uh, branches, all that sort of thing. So it kept everyone pretty much on their top. In terms of uh, other areas of focus of skills, we've got a lot of new recruits to here tonight. Now, what we've done is scripted a lot of the activities for the purpose of giving them confidence. Because sometimes when you run an exercise and you've got new recruits and veterans, the veterans will take over, and rightly so, uh, and the new recruits are lost. What we've done is reverse that. So the new recruits went about their business with purpose, knowledge, skills, and be able to adapt to what is a semi-pressure pressure situation. So that's been one of the real pluses. The owner here, Andrew Judkin, and his wife have been nothing short of unbelievable totally opening this uh, uh, property up to us. This is their peak um, season of the year, their wedding season. So every single day there's been one wedding. On weekends there's even multiple weddings. So they've shut down tonight for the purposes of us being able to, um, to be able to do our, do our um, stuff here. Um, he was able to pinpoint this night back in May. Um, so he committed uh, right, right from the, from the get-go. But I encourage every brigade to look at your fellow brigades to see if you can team up as a multi-brigade, look at a major asset, get them on board and you just don't know what you can achieve. This has really done a lot for us as um, brigade members, so when we go out to the fire ground, a real g'day is a g'day, you know, so it's built that, but also it's um, tied us more into the community. 30 homes were letterbox dropped around here so they wouldn't panic 
and that just gets, gives them a knowledge that we're around for them. So there's so much in this. Yeah.